Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks to Geeks School. In this video, we are going to solve another problem from our Geeks to Geeks practice portal. So as you can see, I have applied a school filter over here and with the help of this, I will only get the problems which will be of school, basic school level. So today we are going to solve C++ array sum of array set 1 problem. Okay, so let's just go in this question and see what we have to do. So, as you can see over here, we have a problem statement. We have a problem statement and there is an example. We are going to see the problem statement and then we are going to see the example. And later on, we are going to write the code together. Because in this problem, it is stated that we are going to do this. We have to do this using C++. So, we will be using C++ language only. Okay, let's see the problem. The problem is saying that given an array of n integers, so we have an array and it will be having n integers. Your task is to print the sum of all of them. So we have to find the sum of all the integers that we have in an array and then we have to print them. So as you can see over here, we have a uh, function declaration in which we have int, uh, the type of the function is basically int. So we have to return an integer from here. So you can understand that we are going to create the sum of type int. Also as an input, we have a array, also the size of array. Okay, so we are going to use these two variables. As you can see in the example here, the input is 4, the size is 4 basically first and later on we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So from here you can understand the output is 10 because the sum of all these elements is 10. Similarly, for example, to the input, uh, the size of the array is 6 and then we have uh, the elements in the array as like these. And when I will sum all these elements, the output will be 93. That's why I have got 93 as an output. Okay. So, I hope that uh, the approach is pretty clear to all of you. So, what we have to do is, we have to apply a for loop. Okay. This for loop will start from 0. Okay. And it will go till n minus 1. And we have to find the sum of each and every element. So, let's start writing the code. And before writing the code, I will be writing the uh, algorithm as well. So as you can see over here that the first thing that we have to do is to create a very create a sum create a sum variable okay second is for loop to iterate for loop you can use any loop if you want to use another type of loop you can do that as well okay I will be using for loop over here. for loop to traverse array traverse array okay the th third step is to sum to add all the elements in sum add all the elements of array in sum okay so these are the steps that we are going to follow these are very simple three steps so uh, yeah let's start writing the code now so basically what we have to do is we are going to have some variable first so int sum equal to 0 let's just initialize it to 0 initially then we are going to have a for loop and it will start from 0 I'm looking down because my system is down so please uh, bear with me int i equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus I hope that no one is going to have any problem in the definition of this function right and what we have to do is we have to add the sum add each and every element in sum so sum is equal to sum plus a of i and at the end what we have to do is we just have to return the sum return sum so now i hope that this function will work uh, perfectly fine let's just run this and let's see so i'm just going to compile and run this okay i have just clicked over here you can just compile from here and submit from here so as you can see, it is it has been compiled successfully. Let's just also submit this and let's see. Okay, it is basically running and checking all the test cases. So all the test cases has been passed successfully. So.
so yeah that's it if you have any doubt you can connect to us on our discord channel i'll be uh, available over there for your doubts and that's it from my side bye bye everyone